boys and girls, I'm going to show you another story um, that's called Seasons. What are our seasons? Winter, spring, summer, and fall. Good, or autumn. Our planet is called Earth. The Earth moves around and around the sun. It takes the Earth 365 days to move around the sun one time. That is one year. It is a long, slow journey. During the year, our weather changes. These changes are called seasons. The seasons are spring, summer, fall, and winter. Imagine that this ball is the earth and the house is your home. The earth is always tilted to one side, just like the ball. The tilt never changes. In the springtime and the summer, your home is tilted towards the sun. You get more light and heat at these times of year. In the fall and winter, your home is tilted away from the sun. That means you get less light and heat where you live. In springtime, day, excuse me, in spring, daytime and nighttime are almost the same length. It is bright and warm during this season. Sunshine in spring can help plants to grow. Buds burst open on the trees and bulb shoots peek through the soil. So that's the season that we're in right now is spring. Many baby animals are born in the spring. They will have plenty of time to grow big and strong before the long cold winter season arrives. How many baby animals can you see? Look carefully. There's some baby ducks and birds, calves, some sheep. In the summer, the sun looks high in the sky. It stays light outside until quite late. You may even go to sleep before it gets dark. The leaves on the trees are fully open now. Colorful flowers are everywhere. That's my favorite, one of my favorite seasons. In summer, insects munch on leaves and birds catch insects to feed their young. The sun is very strong at this time of year. You can get a sunburn if you sit in the sunshine too long. You always want to use sunscreen when you're out in the sun to help protect you. As the fall arrives, the sun looks lower in the sky. The days get shorter and cooler. Leaves turn orange, yellow, red, and brown, and then they fall off the trees. Most of the baby animals born in the spring can take care of themselves now. They're getting bigger. Animals and birds eat a lot more berries and nuts in the fall. It would be difficult to find food when winter time comes. Some birds fly away to warmer places to get away from the cold weather. In the winter, the days are short and the nights are long. It gets dark very early. Most plants rest while the weather is cold and many animals grow thick winter coats and spend long, hours in their homes. It gets so cold that snow falls and covers the ground in some places. You can see where animals and birds have been walking by their footprints. Can you see who left footprints in the snow? Check it out. Whose footprints are these? Can you see? It's a little bunny. How about these prints over here? They're super tiny. 
What do you think left those? The bird. Good. The seasons continue to change as the earth moves around the sun. As winter comes to an end, your part of the earth will begin to tilt towards the sun. And before too long, spring will come again. So we're going to do our bear review again. The earth travels around and around the sun. It takes 365 days to go around one time. That's one year. So just think of it as when you have your birthday. You have to wait a whole year before you turn your next number birthday. The four seasons are, help me with this, spring. What comes after spring? Summer. And what comes after summer? Fall, good, or autumn, and then after fall is winter, good. In the spring and summer, the earth is tilted towards the sun. In fall and winter, the earth is tilted away from the sun. The seasons continue to change as the earth moves around the sun. Hope you enjoyed learning about seasons. Bye.